Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media and it is Finish It Friday and I'm going to finish this if I sure going to try. Um, I have this cover I made some time back. Unfortunately I did not record how I made the cover because if I did then I would be knowing what colors to use for these pages that I'm putting in the journal. Um, so anyway I went ahead and, and added the uh, corners because it was starting. This is just chipboard that I painted on both sides. And uh, so now I am making some pages to go in the journal, which will actually be like the uh, two going, two, two, one going in, they're going in the signatures anyway. Some of them will have two, some of them will have one. So, so far what I've done, well, they had ink on them from a previous, whatever I did previously. And then I took this unbleached titanium and just scrape that on randomly willy-nilly pell-mell you know all the things um because she likes green the person i'm making for she likes green she wants calm this isn't going to look calm at first but eventually it will not all the bits that i'm putting on now are going to show they're just going to be kind of background so i'm just adding um the, my uh art, the art deco stamps i guess i made them as wings but also they could be um foliage type things could also use my stencils I do have some foliage stencils maybe I'll do that with spray on the other side or maybe a little bit on some of the other pages but she wants it to be a writing journal so I'm kind of and I'm giving it kind of a foresty feel kind of sort of I think this one's a totally different green so it may or may not end up in there it depends on how it looks in the end so I've got versifying Claire Pinecone that I'm using on this one and on the other one I'm using Versifying Claire Shady Lane. Shady Lane is in my ears and in my eye. Sorry, it's Penny Lane, not Shady Lane, but you know. Alright, so just kind of doing that in a few places on each of them. And then use my drop paper to just stamp off as much as I can, which will end up with some I mean, it's going to be really dark. Some of these places where I was inking a lot. It's probably time to change the paper, but that's all right. And now I'm going to find another color. Like, I feel like this is a color I use. This wild wasabi or, well, actually, definitely probably going to use some linen. Well, I don't know where my khaki is. I might use a little bit of this matte uh, coffee bean brown, I think it is. And I'll use a little bit of this one, which is green velvet. But then I think there could be a little bit of this beach glass in there. Definitely some of that sage. This one is, I don't know. <laughs> Cause, oh, moss, moss green. That seems like one I would have used. And then this one's brighter. So I'm not sure that I used that one. So that one might not, palmetto might not have gotten used. I don't smell it. That's one of the smelly ones. All right, I'm gonna start with this one because I'm pretty sure that this one was in there and I'm just gonna do what I've been doing. All right, this one's still a little bit wet, so I'm going to flip these over and start with the one that's gonna be the most dry. Not perfectly dry, but most dry, mostly dry. And I might even just kind of do half of them using this color. And I'm going to just scrape it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, you know, you don't have to have a gel plate to make painty papers. And you don't even have to have a brayer, although a brayer makes some fun painty papers. In fact, I should brayer a couple of these because that will give them a little bit of a different look. Just trying to... Maybe I'll just kind of do every other one. So brayering gives it definitely a different look. But, you know, both are good. And so, do a few of these brayered and a few of them. Some will have more of the color than others because there's no rules. Oh, come on. Squirty, squirty. go 
at random. Don't have to go any certain direction. I'll just go ahead and kind of dip this in here even. So yeah, this is all I'm doing is I'm just going to layer these up with all the greens and see how they turn out and hopefully they will at least coordinate nicely. They don't have to go perfectly with the cover, but you know, a little coordination would be nice. Coordination would be nice. So I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, I know a lot of people had spring break this week. So some of you are very ready for school to start back up again. Some of you loved having your kids home for the week. Some of you are like me and it's not affecting you at all because except for maybe you don't want to go out as much because all the people are out because especially today being Good Friday, they're they're off work too, so my husband's like, what do you want to do today? I'm like, well, I don't want to leave the house. I promise you that much. I'm like, this. This is what I want to do. Why are you surprised about that? This is always what I want to do. I want to art. He needs a hobby. He needs a hobby so bad. All right, the last two are rare. I'll just do a little bit on that one, maybe. Like I said, they don't all have to have the same amount. This one's got definitely a different green on it than the other ones. But that's all right. And uh, what was this one? Italian sage? And I think she's part Italian, so, you know, if she knows there's some Italian sage in it, she might think that's kind of fun. And the other sides, I'm going to maybe add some more inking to or stenciling or something. It'll be less decorated because um, I still want her to be able to write on it. Like I said, she wants this to be a writing journal. All right, so that was the sage green. I think I'm going to do this beach glass, which is pretty. Um, I'm turning them upside down again, starting with the most dry one. This one I scraped on, so I'll brayer with the beach glass on it. These are very um, neutrally kind of colors. But this is just a brighter version. <laughs> this is just a bluer brighter version of the um the thing but yeah we're getting some cool stuff happening and this one I brayered so I think I'll scrape this one just to vary the the, the layers the beach glass I love it's a nice neutral and that one is craft smart which I think I get those at Joanne Fabrics or I don't know they might have those at at Walmart I don't know somebody in the comments will probably know what did I do on did I not add oh I did it on the wrong side that's what I did <laughs> I'm like what happened <laughs> well this one's gonna be a little different isn't it <laughs> All right, I have a little more paint on the inside than the other ones do. That's, so, you know, some of these paints are a little bit more opaque, especially since I'm scraping them. You could also use a baby wipe to add your color. You know, there's no rule. I think this one is scraped on. Let's go ahead and do some, um, oh, crumbs. That was a lot. Be able to bray a few of them right now, won't I? So now you can kind of see where some of that background stamping is going to kind of look kind of like foliage when we get down to it. And there's a lot of stomping with the brayer. Thomp it sounds like stomping. And it sounds like when someone's walking around upstairs. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me down here anyway. See, the brayering definitely gives you a different look and I can see a lot more of the color through just fun so this is definitely going to be a mixed media journal that will likely just uh be for writing well yeah she wanted a journal to write in she writes she writes stories poems about her feelings all the things so 
busy mama. I don't think she ever watches my videos, and that's all right. I watch hers. She hasn't made. She hasn't actually made videos in a long time, but she would do like suburban dance mom videos. I don't know if you'd find her by searching suburban dance mom or not. Uh, I think that one's braired, right? So let's go ahead and scrape this one. I don't remember for sure, but I'm not gonna fret about it too much. We're just gonna add more layers. And I feel like the less I think about it, the more I like it in the end. That's just me. Just kind of picking up some of the stuff left on the drop paper. See that one? Maybe that's all we'll do. Is that just tiny little bit just to clean off everything off the left? See, just a tiny bit. Now what? Should we go dark? All right, let's flip our things again because the bottom one will be the most dry. And I think I'll I'll do the first one with the color, and I might skip down. But well, there's not much of this left. Um, I think I will use. Oh, is it even clean? Probably not. Oh, cleanish. Use my um. Ooh, that's a poopy brown soda. I need to add a little black to that, I think. Black or blue, either one. Could have used a better brown. I forget I have better browns. But now, this brown will be just about gone. Ooh, my plate's getting sticky. Probably tight, getting ripped. Also. It doesn't want to roll. You know why it doesn't want to roll? I don't want to put too much on the air because this is dark. But also, ugh, it's a little chocolatey getting, looking like actual chocolate there, isn't it? <laughs> That's not what we want. Cho cho chocolate. <laughs> we don't want chocolate. All right, it's gooped up on my, all right, see this is where it gets thick right here. I keep forgetting to uh, fix that in between videos and so I just kind of take some plier tweezers or pliers or something and just grab a hold of it and get that chunk of paint off there see that's a good size chunk and now it will should roll without a problem this this though is why brown is not my final layer it's just an under layer I mean yes it might look like your five-year-old underwear but it's it's just an under layer not underwear they don't all have to have it also let's see I don't have to use a bear for them all either I could use even a smaller card and just kind of get some brown black brown splotchiness oh yeah I was going to pause through these parts because you don't need to watch me. I don't know. Or maybe you like to watch this part. But how am I going to do the whole... Well, yeah, you won't necessarily get to see me make the whole video. But I thought these parts of the... Uh, these parts might be the most interesting. Well, that's not what I wanted. But that's okay. Because you know what you can do. If you move faster... Move faster, Darcy. Move faster. <laughs> you might be able to wet that and... Oh, yeah. I like that look better. Let's do that. Let's just like, that grunges it up nicely. I wonder if my other layers will move a little bit now that I've put them over there. Might not, might have been, nope, there we go. We're scraping some off. Oh, I like that better, okay. Who knew that was a thing? Put your paint on and scrape your paint off. <laughs> then wet it and scrape. You just, whatever's left. It grunges it up. I feel like I might have no paper left though if I keep doing this kind of stuff. But it makes it look a little more like dirt than the other stuff when I do this. That's hopefully, oh, hold on, sorry. I think I caught that, huh? I don't always look. I never look actually. 
So this uh, also is what the reason I'm able to do this though is because there's a layer of paint under it, so that makes it kind of you know plastic, more plasticky, so that the paint doesn't dry as fast. And that's why I'm able to spray on the paint and have it still move a little bit. Even this one's even still a little bit wet. I can see it. Um, put these over here. I'm gonna take this one and smoosh it on there. And then scrape. You never know what you're gonna learn on here. Like I'm learning. This look here. That's what I like. And I got that by spraying it with water. And coming back and spraying it with water is how I got that. They don't all have to have a lot of brown. Some of them could just have a tiny bit of brown. All right, we're just going to use this brown up. Oh, no, we're not. That is a that is a lot of brown. I know, I keep taking it out, but what I might do is put it back in there with a little bit of black. It's kind of soupy and, I mean, it's cheap paint. I'm okay if I don't use it all. I mean, if I just, oh, or it could just be a, um, you know, how Carrie the Crafter does with his, um, let me just grab this, with his, um, leftover paints, he just kind of adds them to a bottle and they just become mixes that you could probably, this weird gloopy stuff in the middle. Yep, it's paint, paint boogers right there. That is some boogery paint. That's what happens with old paint. It gets like boogers. Just saying. I need all this stupid shit. Alright, let's spray that. Where'd my scraper go? I don't know. I'll just grab this one now. go. Oh, it was underneath. Ha, that's where it was. Oh, left us a nice brown stripe. Will you remember the brown stripe? Uh, don't answer that. Just being silly. Alright. I'm just going to kind of come on in the edge here. See how this goes. Just try something a little different. A little bit more water on there, maybe. Spread it a little bit more. There we go. Grungy. The other color's still coming through. Um, oh, we got a little, a little ripped on the edge there, too, but we'll see what happens. See, this size doesn't have the paint on it, it's just the paper. So it's definitely going to take it much differently. We can always cover it if we don't like it. Just saying. No oh, more more paint boogers. Nice. Here we go. I don't mind that terribly because I'm going to be adding more. All right, let me take care of this paint, do a few more layers of some other paint, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I couldn't turn the camera back on for a little bit because my husband was down here and I didn't really want to finish um, working. But I did uh, a little bit of gel plate printing and just got little bits here and there after I did all the layers. Uh, this one I just got blue uh, spray blue paint spray on it, so it has in this because I yeah that's just a mess. But you know what you do with that is you just take a little bit of gesso or a white matte paint or something, and you just kind of come in with that to kind of you know get it a little bit less less icky and weird. I don't know. I mean, I already sprayed water on it and did that part, so. But, you know, maybe we just need. I don't know what we need. The paper is, uh, you think that with the paint it would get heavier and stronger, but no. 
it's actually doing the opposite. <laughs> well, it's wet, that's why. It's wet, I'm just gonna. Now, uh, these were distress inks under here, so they will likely wick up through that white paint. All, all those colors well, so I'm not gonna lose a lot. We're just gonna cover up the um, brown linen tan acrylic paint that was weird and up there and weird so and you can already see some of this coming back up that was the inks with that stencil that I had used which you didn't see but you know I did and I'm not mad about I'm not upset about I actually like when this happens when there's just some random bits of white paint that get on there that makes me happy um, this, on the other hand, doesn't make me quite as happy, but we'll just, we'll just move, put some more in there, that's all. Make it look on purpose. Put it in the middle here. It's alright. Just gonna, a little bit of that green. Everything's fine. Um, I still want to do some stamping. I haven't, I mean, we've lost pretty much all the under stamping. Which is okay. Alright, see now this side looks better. It needs to dry. But we're going to let that dry. And, let's see. I wish, see, I, I, I don't, I, I don't seem to be able to do the, maybe move that out of the way. The random, um, white that gets on there. Except for maybe, where's the, where's anything that I've used today that's, here it is. I might want this. And this is just my uh, the top notch white matte paint uh, because it was um, it was hard to get out of the big jar, so I decided to give it its own little thing. See, so I like that. I like when you know there's a little bit of paint here and there, just random, almost like it got messed up from. The thing but it just adds a little bit of grunge um, you can see the little bits of squares from the magnolia shadow stencil but I also but then it then I was like oh I like the little squares so I wanted to bring this in on some of them that don't have any of that kind of a thing happening but my paint was too thin and so it was just being all ugly with me where is it I would show you where it was being fit. Oh, yeah. So it was, um, you know, kind of not getting me clear results when I was doing the stenciling. So my stenciling is going to be done with ink so that I don't have that problem. So, so far I'm still using brown and green. I haven't really moved on to, um, oh, I want brush. That's what I want. I haven't really moved on to um, black yet. Words are hard. But let's just go ahead and do some of these randomly in here with this permanent ink. These are my messy borders. I like them. They're not perfect, um, which is why I like them. They are imperfect. Imperfectly perfect. I think they're, they're going to be kind of popular though. Mm. Maybe come across with this one a little bit. You could go up or down, doesn't matter. You could do them on the border. You could do them in the middles. They're just fun to have. They're just, I just like them. So now we have some more, let, well, they're still sort of organic, but not necessarily. All right. And then on the other side of some of these, I sprayed through a stencil on one side and then I flipped on the other side to get the reverse for whatever with whatever ink was left on it so so see that's not bad this this with it just needs it needs it doesn't need it I would like to give it a little bit of I think I'm just gonna since it's a writing journal it makes sense to have script in there right and I'll do that with black but I don't want the Solid, I'm going to use the Ranger, the more, you know, it's not quite as dark as the others. And just kind of layer it here and there. 
so that just gives a little bit more I don't want to say texture but kind of texture <laughs> it just gives another layer another layer is what it does give for sure especially in areas where there's not a lot going on it gives it a little something to to draw your eye to I guess so there's that one I think that one's pretty pretty much done you can still write on this side um, of course she won't know that if uh, if you get it wet but why would she if she's a writing journal why would she get it wet so um, so yeah let's get some paint and ink and then I had I guess I had done some gesso or something with the, those leaves and so they're coming through the ink which is actually kind of cool kind of wish I had just kind of done those on all of them so that would happen because that's kind of a cool look and oh this one's still really wet that's why it's sitting over there I was like why didn't I fold that one oh, you didn't all right let's go ahead and give this one some some of this and this is what makes it mixed media. We've got paint and dry ink and wet ink. And you know, we've used mix we've mixed some medias in there. We've got a few different kinds. And this is this side. This is where I sprayed it through, and that's the reverse side of the stencil. I kind of try to keep them on the separate pages so that when they're in the journal, you'll see one or the other, but it has some interest. This needs something because um, I did the stencil and then I got stuff all over it didn't I yeah I did so those are so let's just do some of this maybe in the green see how that looks see 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 how come on there we go I don't know if it'll show up at all because that is really a dark brown but the um you can you can see it some And it's probably better for me to kind of do it like this so I can see how it's going to look in the book. This is my favorite one, by the way, if you couldn't tell. I just like it. I made it random and... But it's, you know, I, it, I don't think it would look quite the same if I was trying to draw it myself. Plus, this is a lot faster. <laughs> I mean, draw it every time because I did draw it myself. I mean, but you know. So yeah, I like those. This is looking more olivey, which is good. I like the olive green part of it. All right, see that one? It just needs a little bit of this random. Oops, we spilled some white on it, right? That's just, <laughs> I don't know the best way to achieve that. And I don't want them that thick. I just kind of, there we go. Like, more like that. But I don't want them to be hurt. And then if they're too bright, oops, I can just, um, I can cover them with a little bit of brown ink if they're, like, too bright or whatever. Did I do? Yeah, I did do the words on that. And I might even want to bring in a little bit more drama with some black with my mixed media stamps any of them will do and so for these I might want more of the um the black I think this is the versifying Claire Nocturne usually oh see I missed some. Well, that's okay. I don't mind that I missed some. I do want that whole one. Yeah. Um, because then it's going to give me more of an imperfect, which I don't mind. And I could have done this with bubble wrap, too. Um, which would give me some, in fact, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will grab some bubble wrap, because that will give me more imperfect circles, which is probably more like what I want. So, there, we've just added a little bit of drama. Still super, it's super grungy. It's so grungy, it's ridiculous. So, there's another one. I think that one can be counted done. And if you want to get that white on there, like, well, let's put the covers on. That's always good. You can always bubble wrap. 
just, oh, hold on. Okay, so another way to get the white on there would be the bubble wrap and also like a, uh, a little skip, skip, jump, skip with the, uh, the brayer. You don't have too much on there though. You just really lightly and you just skip areas. You do it with gesso or the matte paint or even just acrylic and it just gives you some grungy little white bits that you might want. And like I said, you could also use bubble wrap. And if your bubble wrap has other colors on it, they might come off on here and that might be okay too. So there, we added a little bit and it got a little flicked on there too. Also you can splatter if you wanna just brighten it up with a little bit of white. You can do that. So that's actually bringing up some of the... Uh... Also, I blurred that on there. And see, now we've got these really cool marks on here. Uh, yeah, that's the outside. I kept getting this... No, this one wasn't the one I was getting mixed up. Uh, see, this has got some ink with that other stencil. It doesn't show up quite as much. So maybe I will go ahead and... Just do some bubble wrap on here to add, brighten it up, add a little more interest and whatnot. And this side definitely needs a little something. This one, you can see the, uh, the original stamp that I put on there. And I can even, if I wanted to, come back in and the stamps I did on the bottom, I could also still do at the top if I so desired. All right, now, here's the black ink. Where, where did the script stamp go? That, that's the question. I also have a, I have a mask I could use for script. In fact, I should, somewhere I should do that because it's a dream, right? It's the name of this poem. That is uh, the Floral Davies uh, mask that I have, stencil mask. It's it's technically a mask, I guess, if you're being technical. <laughs> I'm not always the technical person. And if you don't want to get your stuff all mucked up and messy, then you're going to want to do what I don't do, usually, and uh, clean stuff. You know, clean your stencils, clean your stamps in between, and whatnot. I think... What do I think? I don't know. I just do little hills down at the bottom here, maybe. They don't have to be perfect. I, don't have to, I can just kind of hit or miss them. And then I can just kind of line up one of those to just get one or two at the end there. So I didn't make it all perfect. And I think I'm going to do it at the top, too. And that will just kind of give it... Some of them I might do fully on, and some of them I might just kind of, you know, hit or miss. There we go. So that just gave it a little bit of something with the green. And maybe now we want to bring in the brown. Cow now, brown cow. And those are round. So maybe we'll just do this one this time. This is kind of a, a reddish brown. Oh, yeah, it looks a little bit more brown there that time. Let's see. Kind of go across here. This is a diversifying clear, I believe, is a permanent ink. So there we go. So that's what that will look like. Got another one done. I think that one's done. What about this one? This one had a little bit of that black. That one I think could be done. Close this direction. This one. Oh, see, this has that little bit of blue. And I might want to... Is that blue? What is it? It wasn't sea foam. It was... It might have been... Oh, it might have been the agave, actually. Might have been. So I might want to bring that in on some other pages because I really liked it and if I want to bring it in on the cover I can as well so 
So I'm just going to take some bubble wrap and do this. Even though this one already has it, it's in front of me. And so therefore it's getting a little bit more of the agave on it. And I want to on these too, I think. That already has bubble wrap. Not that I can't do bubble wrap twice on something. I just didn't want to. Okay. And, oh, we do have bubble wrap in on the inside here, but we can have more than one. I mean, we can on the other one, too. I just, I might. Uh, agave. It's Agave by Sizzix. I was, <laughs> and now we have dry paint all mixed in there. It's all right. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And if I wanted to, I could even just come in and pick up this and lay it down there just to get that little bit of blue happening for... If, I, if it's a little bit harder to lay it down, I could come through and lay the paper on top and I might get a little bit more. Yeah, just that tiniest bit, tiniest, 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 tiniest bit of blue coming in on there. And um, I mean, it's only a tiny bit, but it, I like it. It's just a tiny bit and tiny bits okay sometimes. Uh, you can do that with your white as well. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some more of that, that blue on there. Shows up. Oh, here. That does show up a little bit more. I like that. I like that. All right. A little bit where? Where is it? It's right here. So I could even... Yeah, this one, the paint was kind of, I didn't like how it was coming through that stencil so well. So we'll see. Uh, I did, I'll probably do that on a couple more pages. Um, it's still wet. Those lines, because I just do that with a credit card. Super easy. This already has some of the glue on it, but whoops. And I would rather that went on a little more straight because it has the lines. Ooh, and it has some of the white in there too. So that is interesting that is very interesting see that's what happens when you layer up paints and whatnot and you get interesting stuff now I already had that color on there not loving how that is crooked but that's okay um, for one I can make that the back page because <laughs> I haven't put my script on here yet so this could be anything I can do anything but I can't find the ink that I just have. Oh, crumbs on a cracker. Is it better? I, in case you're wondering, when I paused, I oiled my chair because my chair was driving me absolutely, totally insane. Way more insane than usual. <laughs> it was just, oh, it had gotten bad. And I was just, and I heard it in my video yesterday too. So I'm like, no, it wasn't just me. At that moment, it was really pretty bad I could just put a cluster over that if I don't like it but I hardly, hardly will notice it when it's on the back page anyway so it's that little bit of black but I think I want more I got a lot of white on it now I think I want more black or the dark brown either one um, so let's take this over here and take my Van Dyke brown and lay some of that out and brayer it out and maybe even just that. I just just it got oh there we go then we can like hide that that is just needed a little bit of darkness my old friend and do I want to do, and what color do I want to do them in? I've got the dark green. Maybe I want to bring in, where's the original green that I used? The original, the original, the original. Oh, and I also was working on these as well in between. Uh, these just strips of fabric, adding paint as I go. 
and I forgot to do that with you guys. I'm going to get a little bit of brown on that. I don't think that one. Oh, I just have to remember that my fingerprints, I don't want my actually to look like fingers did it. Oh my goodness. Um, I already have some of that. Oh, you know, we could just do with this. Um, I want to do some of the flowers. I think, I think I might do them in black, but the strong black. Because I don't really want to do any really super bright colors. Although they wouldn't be a bad thing, but. And it still has some blue in it, so they're not even, they're not even totally black, so that's okay. But that just gives me a little bit of a pattern on there. These are, this is one of my favorite stamps. I love it. I love a big flower stamp, you know? So that is that one. I think that one is pretty much done. And there we go. That can go like that. So that one's done. Do I want to add the flower to any more? See, this has some of the leafy things. So I think the flower could... Did I just do that with blue? Is that why? Oh, I just did it with blue. That's why it looked blue. That's all right. We'll just keep doing the blue. She likes blue. She said so. Especially get this in like some of the light spots. It'll show up a little bit more there. And up. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got a nice all over pattern type, type thing happening there. Did I do any? Yes, that one does. And it goes that way, I think. Just so there we go, we've got the dark greens, light greens, the browns, a little bit of blue now. And that's what it looks like on the back. I don't want to do flowers on all of them though. So I think this one is fine without flowers or maybe when I get my daisy stamp in a few weeks if I still have this on me, I don't know. This one is super light. That's okay. I mean, a little bit of light with all the uh, the dark is not a bad idea. Um, I kind of like it somewhat as it is. Let's go ahead and maybe do this with the brown maybe. We have some of the um, I hate when it doesn't go straight. Why? There's not a lot of things I want, but I like my lines to be somewhat straight. That is one of the things I want. And I always forget to do the middle because I can't get it straight in the middle. All right. That's why. All right. What will I do with that? I could do anything. I could just leave it and not worry about it. I could cover it with just a little bit of something, something. This green here, what green is that? The one I can't find, probably. Oh my word. I'm still not finding that stupid green. Well, we got the wild wasabi. Lots of, that's what's on there a lot already. I don't need the wild wasabi. It's not what I need. Oh, forgot to put that in water. It's a folk art one. How hard can it be to find? Welcome to my world. Anytime that Gail is having trouble finding something, I'm like, that's me all the time. <laughs> Must be nice to have it just happen once in a while. This is the beach glass, which is a little lighter than the other blue. And it'll lighten up some of the pages. I might just go kind of in here with it. I don't know. Do you guys like to see me make like a whole journal or, or just do the... This, this is going to help me get... I might not finish this whole journal today, but it's going to get me closer by getting these pages done. This is a journal that has been in the making for oh, a couple years now. I think she asked me for it a couple years ago. She just 
was so sweet and was just like, I just want something you've made. Okay, I could do that. Ooh, the credit card thing. I'll show you how I do that. So, I grab a credit card or gift card or anything that has a straight line on it. And I dip it in the paint. And I try to make somewhat straight lines. And then I just go this way too, but I usually go up and down a little bit. I don't make them perfect. I don't usually go all that all over with them either, but you could even go whoop. You should do what you want. And if you don't like it, you can just scrape it, make it a little bit more in the background a little bit. I don't hate it. I just it's not my favorite. I like that the way, oh use the shorter end. That that might have been all right, there you go. I did it more like that. None of my lines were meeting up anywhere, and I like it better like that. Yep, my paint's all drying. It's all right. So if you have a dark page, you can do the lines in a light color, and if you have a light page, you can do the lines in a... Oh, that's Where's the, the brown? How now, brown cap? I know, that's annoying that I do that. I can't help myself. Doop, doop, doop. I'm okay that it is, you know, different. They're not perfect lines. I'm okay with that. And then you make almost like just a bunch of little crosses, but they cross over each other to some degree. You know what I mean? And there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can have four in some, three in some, five in some. Doesn't matter. Really? See, these all look like little plus signs now. But now they don't so much. Hard to get on the line where you were. There we go. That's good. This is a little thick. It's going to take a while to dry. So I'm just going to scrape through them a little bit. Just to, there we go. And this one too. I'm kind of focusing on the bottom of the page in hopes that that's going to help me. But obviously, um, I don't always get my line straight because that one's crooked. Like I said, perfection, don't even try it. It's never gonna happen because it's just unattainable. And if you're like me, if you can't get it perfect, you just might not even try. So I had to give up on perfection or I would never try anything. And if it does get crooked, you could just go over it again. And then, you know, it might look like more messy. I don't know. Oh, we got this end to and now I'm probably squishing them all. Oh, also, if they are really thick, you could just go and uh, do that with another page. And see, now I've got some little lines on that page. And they're even more random because they're just what's left over from that. All right, that's got to dry. What? How many pages do I have anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another one down here at seven. This one, I think it's almost dry. All right, this needs something. Come back in with one of these. This one's more leafy looking. And bring in the green. Ooh, you know what I could do with this? I could make it like, like it's just tree foliage coming down. Just do the... get it actually in there really well. Whoops. I don't want paint on that back end. I just, I'm trying not to get ink on that part because I don't want that part. I just want the, the foliage part to come in and down and I don't know, just kind of make it like a border coming around the, oh yeah, I like that. I like even better just with less of it. There we go really makes for a nice little 
foliage type board. Whoops, that didn't come out all the way, but that's all right. Nice little foliage border. The overlapping is fine. You know, like foliage does, it overlaps. There we go. What do you think? It's a little much up here, but that's alright. I'm not worried about it much. Alright, and that was, yep, this is the outside of it. And I might even put like a little woodland animal in there. I might do that on some of these. Alright, this one has a little bit of inking in there. It's so, oh, that's right, I did the, uh, the gesso over it. I almost couldn't even, or the the matte white paint almost couldn't even tell that's what that was I think I just want to have this on the top just a little bit you know what I mean doesn't even have to go all the way across I just there we go that's good that works that works for me. All right, so I could come through and outline these or I could just let them be like that subtle. That's kind of cool, super grungy. I don't, I'm, I don't know if she likes grungy or not, but I don't know, as long as it's a calming grungy. That's all she cares about is that it's calm and soothing to the soul. All right, so that is where I'm gonna stop whoops for today. These are still, ah, are they still wet? No, they're dry. Um. This one needs a little bit of lightness on it too. Oh, uh, the white, the white, the white. That's liquid gesso. I have, all right, so I got six of these and I filled them all, just so you know. Cause I went ahead and put gesso in one cause I was tired of having to look for my gesso. Uh, I got a golden gloss medium. I think that's Trisha's fault. <laughs> and I put my, my heavy black gesso in one cause it was kind of, I didn't use it as much. Um, in fact, my heavy, white gesso my clear gesso I had to trash because they were my you know the Finnevere ones uh, this is the golden golden gel gel matte medium is that what that is golden gel matte medium no this is a fluid matte medium I don't know why it says gel I don't think it's gel don't worry I don't know my own brain it's just fluid matte medium it's not gel why did it say gel I'm going to change that because the other one is the golden matte medium, which was a different number. They're just the slightlyest difference. But I guess this one can be used um, to, prime, to, to, to prime your thing anyway. It might be a little bit more liquidy. Okay, so here we are. This is, I've, I've made progress on this journal. Hopefully by next Friday, I'll actually finish it. So there's that. Actually, let me go ahead and put the pages all together and show you real quick. So at this point in time, this is how it looks. Um, this is the front cover. I still need to make a spine for it. I haven't quite decided what I want to do there. Um, so, you know, got the blank pages. Oh, this is not a full signature. I have five signatures, okay. So <laughs> that'll have to go in the middle of another one. So we have just the pages in there and then this one kind of in the middle. I could even turn that around if I wanted to. And there's that. And then those two look good together. That's good. Okay. Wasn't quite sure. So I hadn't. All right. That one has nothing in the middle. This one should have something in the middle. Yep. Has that in the middle. And then this one should. Oh, those two look good together too. Hopefully they look good with the cover too. And that one has nothing in the middle. And. Those look okay together. These might look better together. I need to push those down more, don't I? Alright, and I think I'll put this one in the middle here. So I should have four to five pages per signature. So this one, one, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll take this one out and maybe stick that in this one back here. And was this one just five, two? So I guess five or six pages is what they're ending up being. But like I said, it's going to be a writing journal. And those look good together, I hope. They look they look like the part of all one journal, Let's I hope. <laughs> so that's where I am with that. Um, I need to figure out the spine. I might do cardboard. I might do lead. I don't know yet what I want to do for the spine. That might take me another week to figure out. But this is on its way to getting finished, finally. Um, if anybody cares about measurements, it's it's about like seven and a quarter-ish by six and a quarter-ish, give or take half a quarter, an eight, give, give or take an eighth uh, in one direction or the other. And uh, I probably, I might bring some of these um, stencils and stamps that I used here. I might bring it throughout the journal. Those are what I had when I made the cover. Like I said, that was probably before I started working for PM Artist Studio. We also have a little bit of teal here. So I might even bring like a dark teal into it. And we have this yellow, green, gold here too, which I could bring in. Also, this color here, which is either like a honey color or it could be the sepia. I'm not sure. So I might want to bring that into the journal as well. But I can do that with some stenciling and stamping and whatnot but i love i love this cover just it makes me happy and so yep oh i've got some leaves too so i can bring those in so i'll do some more with this but um i've made progress on a journal that is in my finish it box so it's counting for finish it friday even if i don't finish it i'm working on finishing it i hope you all have a delightful day love you